pretty fancy. Hi guys, welcome back to my vlog again. I am so glad that you are here because today I'm going to address an issue that I think is pretty big. Mondays. Ugh, nobody likes Mondays. What makes Mondays the worst? Well, first of all, if you spent your weekend just at home, you put on Pride and Prejudice, you watched the long one, you know what I'm talking about, and you made a bowl of popcorn, but you added like a little bit of sugar on there, and then you also had a glass of soda water, you put a teeny bit of, I mean, I've never done this sort of thing, but I'm guessing that you have, and you show up at work, full on grandma vibes, and everyone looks at you and thinks, mm, boring. <laughs> Let's fix that, all right? In today's tutorial, we are going to give you the look like you spent the weekend on the beach. Full on summer vibes. You know, first of all, when you go to the beach, you probably don't have any makeup on because it's been washed out in the water. So, there's no makeup here. But, we're gonna bring the makeup on. First of all, um, let's be realistic. If you're in the sun, you're probably gonna be very sun-kissed, yes? So let's get out our blush stick. This one is in the color uh, Floral Minority, sorry, Floral Majority. We're gonna start with a blush stick. It's creamy, it's easy to apply, and it's um, going to allow us to do more of the shape that we want. What am I talking about shapes for? Well, when you're at the beach, you probably have sunglasses on, and you don't tan underneath the sunglasses. So we're gonna have the line, we're gonna have the outline of the glasses right here. So taking your blush, any brand will do. Um, we're going to start by outlining again where your glasses would probably land. Yeah. And of course, it all depends on which brand of glasses you get. There's always like a little spot right there. Good job. Okay. You have to be um, precise in this part because you need to make it look realistic. That's the goal, right? We don't want to look too fake. I mean, a little bit of faith is in, I think we can all agree with that. Okay, good, good, so, yeah, and just keep applying like so. All right, I think this is a good start, yeah. Okay, so now that we have our sunglass shape set, I'm just gonna do a little bit of blending here um, with my um, makeup sponge. I'm just blending those edges again. Um, the only really harsh edges are gonna be right here. So we'll just keep those, but we will blend up here. Oh, it's already looking believable. All those workmates of yours are gonna be pretty jelly by the time we're done with this. All right, now we're going to kind of set it a little bit. Um, but we need something intense. Um, so it has to be quite bright. I'm going to use my favorite pork and beans color right here. Um, it's a nice deep red for the oh, for the parts that um, you know you're out in the sun for hours and hours. Both days you're out in the sun, so you want this to be the most believable red as a lobster look. I imagine you have also burnt your chin. Sometimes you burn here. It, I don't burn evenly across my face. What about you? When you go for your burns, do you normally burn even or not? It's kind of distributed in different ways. So, so then we can blend all of that so that it's... Oh man, guys, this is so good. <sighs> when you show up at work on Monday, you will be the talk of the town. And I'm telling you, too, this is a trend um, that is starting because of the summer. And you know the saying here today and it's a song tomorrow. So if you wanna jump on this look, we will finish off the look with a highlight. You can never skip the highlight. So again, I'm just gonna go in with the most intense highlight that I have. And of course, just brush that very gently on the tops of your cheekbones, your nose, because you want that look where it's so burnt that your skin is stretched and it's thin and shiny. That is the most believable one that we can do. This is looking good, all right. What you wanna do now is grab a thing of Vaseline because I'm sure that your lips are parched. So you'll want to douse your lips in a generous amount of Vaseline. By the way, 
I think this is a good anytime look for Vaseline. It stays on there, gives you a really glamorous glow, and it just feels really smooth. Well, that's the finished look, guys. Please give this video a like and share it with anybody that you think could use a little help in the sun-kissed look. Subscribe to my channel and stay tuned. I've got more tips for you. Bye!